What is up you guys? This is Nightmare 70 here and today I'm back with another food review. Excuse my hair. I am pretty hairy because I don't like haircuts. I'm not gonna cut it. I'll tell you this you guys. I'm not gonna cut my hair. And there's no hat today either. But today I'm back with another food review. And this is huge. This is the McDonald's McNugget bundle. I actually did ruin the spicy nuggets. And so it's a 40 chicken McNugget a bundle with um like 40 nuggets and four medium fries. It's a 15.99. That's quite a lot for me for, for medium fries. If it was large, ooh, that'd probably be a nightmare. I'll be honest with you guys. But the 40 nugget bundle is 15.99, and I ordered something else, but I'm not gonna explain to that, you guys. So. Like I said, the bundle isn't the only thing I ordered. I also ordered a soda along with a frappe. But like I said, I'm not going to review the frappe today. Or maybe, okay, let's review the frappe. I also bought a soda. So that's for, for after the frap. At least for my ride back home. My bike ride. So again, here's the mocha frap. And then I have some chocolate sauce. Got really taste the coffee there. Keep in mind, you guys don't really drink coffee or caffeine, but that, <laughs> so that chocolate, I gotta give it a try. But I, but I'm gonna tell you, I won't be drinking, buying this all the time, because I don't really drink that much. I don't really drink coffee in general, but this is just a one time today. However, we're reviewing like that spicy, the bundle with the spicy nuggets. They're back, you guys. You, yeah, that's right, they're back. And I want to give a shout out to my homies. I actually work here. If you've seen my McRib review, I did shout out to Johnny. There's another. This is today. This video is another shout out to him and for my other homie Delia. I went to high school with her, and this sh this shout out is both for you guys. And today let's get on to review. They actually packed it up real good. I, ordered, I did get some sauce, three sweet and sour, three ranch. Three barbecue. I already saw that. Three mighty hot sauce. Let's get some. I didn't get any ketchup. I didn't forgot to ask. The fries. Let me go get some buffalo sauce. I forgot to ask for buffalo. And some ketchup for the fries. Hang on, you guys. All right, you guys, I'm back. Got my buffalo and my ketchup. Now let's get to the main event. The nuggets, the spicy one. Now this is the McNugget. Look at it, see it has an orange breading and it's kind of hot. Got the delicious breading. This tastes like the normal nugget. Actually, no, it's kicking a little bit. It's not like a buffalo. It's not like a hot wing hot, but it, you can definitely kick it. It is kicking, you guys. It's not, not making like sweat crazily, but I am starting to sweat a little bit. It's kind of warm out here in Arizona, just so you know. But here's the inside, the white meat. And I hope you guys are staying safe during this coronavirus, the pandemic. And there's the mighty hot sauce. Let's give it a taste with our fries first. Since I already mentioned it. If I can get it to open. Mighty hot sauce. Oh, we got some. Not really that hot. But like I said, there's some fries. Dip those in our fries. That one's cooking. Let's 
not like crazy. <coughs> okay, yeah, it's kicking. If you've seen my review on Buffalo Wild Wings Carolina, Carolina Reaper Wings, when I reviewed those, oh, those were kick killing me. These ones, this sauce isn't really that hot. Let's get another one and dip it in the sauce. It's cooking. It does have some, uh, it says it has vinegar and some chili peppers. I can't taste, you can't really taste the vinegar. But it does have um in the sauce it has water, vinegar, sugar, chili pepper. It doesn't say what kind of vinegar. I'm guessing white vinegar. Or regular cayenne red peppers. You get the deal. Probably can't read it because it's blurry. Yeah, but it's kicking. It's kicking a little bit. You might want to get a drink. Like I said, here is the um, with the hot sauce. Mm. I'm already sweating. Like I said, it's kind of hot out here a little bit. Might look cloudy, but still kind of warm. That's my uh, sweater I got for Christmas. My aunt gave it to me. And one thing I like about the sweater, you guys, my cats will definitely be safe in here. Now, originally, you guys, I don't really uh, eat barbecue stuff, put anything, I'm put barbecue sauce on my food, because I really don't like how sweet it is, but I'll make an exception. But first, we're gonna do ranch. Next, it's kicking, you guys. And I'm already halfway through that drink. Take precautions, you guys. These things are this thing's really hot. With the ranch, it's all right. But what if we dip it with some hot sauce? I don't know if you can see the hot sauce that well, but cheers. Cool it down a little bit. And for the fries. Yeah. Now I might not eat all the fries, I might just take them home. Cause keep in mind you guys, this is a, like that 40 medium fries with the 40 nuggets. That's quite a lot of food. But for $15.99, I think it's a good deal still. It just tastes like a normal McNugget, like I said, but not with much of a kick. But well, however, I do like it sweet and sour. Let's give one of our nuggets a dip on it. Like I said, the nugget isn't really giving that much of a kick, but it is there. Oh. Did it like halfway. Nice and delicious. And luckily it ain't this thing isn't like super sweet. Barbecue gauze can be sometimes for me. But let's give it a try. Again, there's a spicy McNugget and barbecue sauce. Pass for me. No, I'm not a fan of barbecue sauce, but I just want to give it a try. And the rest, I'm not going to discard these. I'll just keep them.
But the barbecue sauce is too sweet for me. But I did, uh, go, I'm glad I kind of tried it though. Hey on you guys. Again, this is the mocha frappe. They also have a caramel one. I had that one before, it's pretty good. I will review that one and tell you again how what it is. I promise you guys. Today we're doing this. So again, it's mostly just a chocolate iced coffee. Now I normally don't drink coffee, but how we're gonna give this a try anyway. But I will promise you guys. Sorry, perfect. I will let you guys know though. I am not gonna buy this all the time I go. Just give them a try and maybe if it's alright, I buy it again. Since you keep I don't drink like straight up coffee, like brewed coffee, like espresso, like when you shot shoot coffee, like your coffee maker, you get your coffee beans and ground it up. And then that's when the actual coffee comes out, pours out. Yeah, I don't drink that kind of coffee. This um yeah, this is alright. It's not that sweet, thankfully. But like, I'm not really a fan of sweet stuff. I don't really eat sweet stuff besides ice cream shakes. I mostly drink shakes and Monster, though Monster isn't really a sweet thing. It's more of an energy drink. But I know they have sugar though. But aside from that, at the hot sauce. I'd give it another try and um ranch. And sweet and sour. Finally some buffalo. It's already been already 12 and a half minutes in this review. I'm pretty much doing the same dip. <laughs> Not nothing special with the fries, just so you know guys. Obviously. So nice. Again, looks, I actually didn't notice it. Kind of looks almost like a pumpkin orange in person. In video, probably not so much, but it looks almost like a pumpkin orange, this one, you guys. <laughs> not sure what they use to actually coat it. Probably some food curling, I'm guessing. But still pretty good. Again, I'll try it in buffalo sauce. Cheers. Try it with um, a little bit of the hot sauce, the actual hot sauce, and some buffalo. Cheers. Ooh, I'm sweating. I'm ready, I'm already getting full. It's been like 10. Yeah. Hang on, you guys. Been like, I don't know, this is my eighth piece in that eighth piece, eighth piece in that bag, so I already had 12 pieces, I'm guessing. You know Alright. And I'm not gonna review the fries today, you guys. Because like I said there's nothing special with them. But I'm already getting full, you guys. And I'm not gonna discard this, no way. I might just take it home. I might take a few more nuggets and then relax a bit and then head home. I might just finish the nuggets and then any fries I have left over, I might just take them home. But aside from that, you guys, how I would do it, try to get either ranch with the hot sauce as well. Definitely get the hot sauce. And sweet and sour. So many cars. So many vehicles, you guys. I don't know if you can hear me, but 
If you're gonna, I definitely get 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 these, you guys. Go for the spicy nuggets. And if you have any kids around, the bundle's probably best to share with. Good for me. I'm already getting full. Already, I don't know why. But I still recommend getting them. I'm not even done. Even not even done with one medium fry at all. Not even close. But the mocha, pepper. Um, like I said, I'm just glad it ain't crazy sweet. I'm glad I got a small one to begin with. Not sure if they use dark chocolate or just regular chocolate. I don't know. But I know that they definitely don't use white chocolate. It's not crazy sweet. So I'm guessing they'd use dark chocolate for the actual frappe itself. This is just regular chocolate sauce or syrup that's on the, that they drizzle. I'm guessing they use the same chocolate for this, I'm guessing. Like I said, I'm guessing these are or they use a different kind of chocolate for the dip for the actual frappe. But all I know is that the thing isn't crazy sweet, which is good for me. It's not that sweet, like I said, but I definitely, I'd give it another try if I had to, or if I wanted to. But for the for the nuggets, definitely worth trying. They taste great. They taste alright on their own. With the hot sauce, make sure you add a drink, alright? It's not like um, Carolina Reaper hot. Can if they were, Ooh. I'd probably be sweating. Look, I got so many sauce. I got one. They gave me three of each just so you guys. Mine is a ketchup. But I'm, I got two buffaloes, two barbecue sauce, two ranches, two sweet and sours, and two mighty hot sauce left that are unopened. So I got a total of two, four, six, Eight, ten sauces total, and I'm already getting. I'm already sweating. If my face looks red, I don't know why. But my future food review. If you, for those who have Instagram, if you're already following me, me there, you might have seen my update video that for this year, I'm trying. Very windy. The thing's empty. It's very windy. Sorry. For those who don't have Instagram, I did do an update saying that. If you live here in my town, here in Arizona, like if my homies here, we might. If you're interested in doing a food review with me, you must be living in my town. I live here in Pinal County, and I live near Florence. I'm still mostly in Santa, you guys. For those that live in my town, you'll know I moved houses back in the middle of March, almost a year ago. I moved. Sorry, I'm already getting full. But if you're, for those who live in my town, if you live in St. Queen Creek. Santan or Gilbert or maybe Coolidge. I know Johnny lives there, I think. Or possibly Gilbert. Cause I know I'm gonna I know Gilbert isn't really that far. It's the part where I go to. Anyway. But like I said, if you're interested in doing a review with me, please let me know through the comments below. Tell me where you live. Cause again, you must be in my town here in Arizona. It doesn't have to be exactly Santan or Florence. It can also be like I said, it could also be Coolidge or Gilbert. Cause I know, it's, like I said, it's not that far. If you have family that live out here in my area, if you're in any of those towns nearby, and if you're interested in doing a review with me, please let me know. But make sure you have your own money. Because I'm not, I can't just keep affording for yours, you guys. Because like I said, you probably know a lot. Some that might not know about me. I don't have a lot going on. Because there's not much business out here. And I'm not. <sighs> it's been rough for me. And I graduated high school in 2019, thankfully, before the virus hit. But aside from that, you guys, I definitely would give these a try. From order in between, I would go for sweet and sour, and um, I would definitely go for the hot sauce, definitely, if you're a spice kind of guy. But if you're more of a sweet kind of guy, just go for the sweet and sour. I'm not really going to pick which sauce for you. But if you can get this in time, I recommend getting it.
All right, guys, that's going to be it for my spicy McNuggets review from McDonald's. And the mocha frappe. It's again like that one's alright. <coughs> and I'm kind of sweating a bit. But again, thanks for joining you guys. Hope you enjoyed my food review of it. Stay tuned. Hope I see you in the next future review. This month. Like I said, I have a friend going to um, Florida for a mission. She's going to be a missionary out there. And again, I'm not going to tell you who. Um, or you can figure out once I, we get to the channel. But she's going on her mission in Florida. She leaves on the 17th this month. And she's, wait, she's waiting for a chance to come do a review with me. So that one should be happening. And so stay tuned for that one, you guys. That's going to be one of my reviews. But the rest, I'm not sure yet where. But even for her review... We're not sure exactly where, but I'm fine with it. Because there's a lot of places I haven't reviewed due to how limited I am. But you will find out when students get that part, alright? But aside from that, you guys, take care. Stay safe. Nightmare 70 out.